Alright, NT8 in the backyard. I'm assuming you have all seen the news about the Canadian fiasco. I'm gonna do a dual vlog here. Primer bulb rotted out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it out. While I talk about this Canadian bullshit, I followed it live all morning and then they did their press conference which in my mind was fucking embarrassing they never should have done that press conference it, Two o'clock central time or one o'clock central time today because they didn't have anything to talk about and they dodged all the questions that the reporters threw out and then on top of that Reporters kept asking stupid questions, in my opinion, that they should have known couldn't be answered yet. So that's one. Anyway, the other thing I was going to talk about on these chainsaws is I bought two of these brand new at full price. And then uh, I picked up a couple more dirt cheap at pawn shops because I know so much about these pull-ons that I can work on them Fucking oh, the uh, Islamist. They haven't come out and said that it was Islamish yet. But I know goddamn well it was. You having trouble? Yeah, fucking. I woke up at 2 o'clock this morning, all I could smell was gas. I know. That's why I opened the windows up. gas bulbs, but I've got four of them, so it's not a big deal. I don't know if Joe's even out. So 
So anyway, this one's not going to start. So I'm going to take it off this one. And I tell you what, that was my first one I ever bought. And this is one of my uh, pawn shop ones. And this one started right up yesterday till the bulb, the primer bulb, blew out. Eh, no wonder why that one wouldn't start. Well, that's not good. Hoses are fucked. Hoses are dried out too. These hoses are breaking. Snap, snap. Okay, that ain't gonna work. Well, these two are fucked until I buy the entire guts of them, which shouldn't be too expensive. But, well, anyway. This Canadian bullshit. They won't, they won't call it terrorism yet. They should. Because it's quite obviously terrorism. Guess I'll have to go online tomorrow and order all this shit. It's what I like about these pool lines. You can order all this bullshit. Well, I guess it's going to be another day that I don't get this wood cut. But I'm also grieving for uh, I'm grieving for the soldier that got that was guarding the uh, the tomb of the unknown soldier up in uh, Canada because that, my friends, means a lot, and I want you to keep in mind those guys usually carry a weapon that's only ceremonial. They don't carry 
They don't carry bullets. At least it was when I was in the military. So to, to hit somebody like that is uh, really pure bullshit. I mean, why would you do that? Eh, because you're an Islamist. But yet they won't come out and say, oh, it was an Islamist that did it. They won't come out and say that. And their press conference absolutely sucked. In my honest opinion, they look like a couple of fucking idiots. Well, a group of idiots. Out there spouting their bullshit. One, two, three. I'm missing one. Gotta find a magnet. Alright, we'll talk to you later. Alright, I'm back. Okay, on the chainsaw, two hoses and the primer bulb, 28 bucks, 29. Now here's the problem, Poulon no longer supports those old style chainsaws that take two hoses and a bolt-in bulb, so I couldn't buy any of that from there. So here's what you do. You go to Sears, and they still have parts for those old chainsaws. I spent like an hour on chat with the guy, and he kept firing me parts and sent me pictures. It's an online chat thing that they have at their site. Nope, wrong one. Nope, wrong one. Yep, that's the right one. Now I need the hoses. Sends me a picture of a single hose. I said, nope, need two hoses. They're two different sizes. So he fumbled around and stumbled around, and he ended up making up a kit for me in order to fix the chainsaws. Now, it's 28 bucks for one saw. So I was like, let's just do that. So they'll be here on the 27th and then I'll do a video on how to do that. It ain't easy, I'm telling you right now. Now, Vec D and E and I got to talking about weed eaters. Now, Poulon has Poulon Weed Eater. They bought the original Weed Eater company, but they never updated. They may have now, but when I was there, they never updated it. Um, plus, they're too short because they've got that bend. So what I found, this is a still FS80. This is a professional brush cutter. I've got, I've got the strap, and I also have the uh, the harness. Um, to equate with this model, you'd have to nowadays step up to the FS90. Now what this does for you is you can have a regular weed eater head or you can have a blade like this that will handle rough brush and you can even cut trees with this because I have a saw blade that looks like a circular saw blade that mounts to that head. So, this is a jack of all trades, master of none, but it does everything really well. And I also do believe there is a chainsaw blade you can put on here that switches the direction from this to this 
that runs a chainsaw blade. So maybe this is why I bought a BMW because this is just so stupid simple. All you got to do is change the blades up for what you want to do. So anyway, just wanted to throw this out there to you and let you know that, uh, yeah, I'm on the case. These, these friggin' gas line hoses are subject to dry rot. I don't know if you can see that. They dry rotted. And you can't just cut them down because they're specific lengths in order to plug into what they have to plug into inside the gas tank. That's another challenge. But I've done it before. So, all right, NT8 in the backyard. Talk to you later.